I was like in a freeze of paradise, sailing the best conditions in the world. Flew to Pozo to compete there. Three days before the World Cup, I just broke my foot on a stupid jump, you know. And now from living the dream, kind of now living the rehab dream a little bit. <laughs> I learned some new house skills, started baking again. You're making fun of me, but... <laughs> Come and look, it's really, it's gonna be a good bread. So now we just have to rise, chill for half an hour and then should be ready. Who's in charge of watching the bread when I go to the gym? I like a really good technique now. The moment I broke the foot, I bought this scooter to take me from A to B. I'm always here. when I'm on the scooter. Actually, in two weeks, I got stopped five times by uh, the police. And they threatened to give me a fine and also take my scooter. I'm just standing with one foot like, but I cannot walk without it, you know? I need this one to make it from A to B. I knew that this was gonna keep me out of the water for some months. And I think I just straight away accepted the situation and dealt with it pretty well. and kind of find like a new motivation in a way. Like now, every day I'm like seeing progression in my foot and it kind of gives me the same feeling about progressing in windsurfing in a weird way. And uh, yeah, I think it's very important to enjoy the moment and I'm also happy that I really appreciated the time I had on the water and pushed as much as I could before this happened. So yeah, and I think now watching my friends at the beach sailing every day, I'm filming them and I'm visualizing how I would sail uh, if I would be on the water, so I think I'm still kind of training my windsurfing, even though I'm not on the water. So I think when I'm back, I would just hopefully come back stronger. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>